Thanksgiving, a time of joy and celebration, of food, relaxation, and family, a day beloved by everyone, everyone that is except Tom, the gangster turkey. Gobble, gobble. I mashed the potatoes, I crammed the cranberries, I yammed the yams, and now it's time for you to do what you always do on Thanksgiving. Watch football? No, it's time to prepare the turkey. Prepare? That doesn't sound too bad. Prepare? That's such hard work. I have to pluck the feathers. Oh. And pull out the innards. Eek. And toss them in the oven. Oh my. But don't forget, first you must chop off the head. And all this time I thought I was going to be the guest of honor. I've got to get out of here. These people are going to eat me like fried chicken. Oink, oink. Welcome to my world, buddy. Well, I guess I better get busy. Hi, Hi Grandpa. Grandpa. Happy Thanksgiving. Is there anything we can do to help? I'm glad you asked that. Go back and chop off the turkey's head. Oh, I was hoping you would have me set the table. Too bad. Get chopping. Be brave, dear. But honey, you know the sight of blood makes me queasy. I'm needed in the kitchen. Well, sometimes a man has to do what a man has to do. Make the kids do the work. Hey, Dad, is dinner ready yet? Son, this is a very special Thanksgiving because I'm giving you a very special responsibility. I need you to chop off the turkey's head. <laughs> Gross! And while you're at it, pluck the feathers, take out the inyards, and give it to Grandma to put it in the oven. But, 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 Dad... No buts about it. Have fun, son. Terry! Hey, Bookworm! Did you just hear what Dad said to me? Nah, I was too busy reading my history book. So you mean you didn't hear a single word Dad said? No, what'd he say? He wants you to kill the turkey. Let's go over to that animal pen. Well, I guess if we want a turkey dinner, someone has to do it. Sorry, Mr. Turkey, the time has come. I, I, I feel faint. Oh no, he's having a heart attack. Who's having a heart attack? He doesn't have a pulse. I don't have a pulse. Not you, Grandpa. The turk Terry, what are you doing? CPR. I learned it in health class. He's such a good student. What the heck is going on? I think it's working. Live, Mr. Turkey. Live! Gobble, gobble. You did it, honey. You saved his life. Yep, now I guess I better cut off his head. Now wait, child. That doesn't seem right. You know, according to my history book, presidents such as Harry Truman and John Kennedy have spared the lives of their turkeys. And since 1989, the White House has been granting a presidential pardon to each live turkey that is presented to the president. Maybe this year, we could do the same kind of thing. I think that's a lovely idea. After all, one of the many things we should be thankful for is simply how many families have been able to have a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner, all because of this noble bird. Besides, we have many other delicious foods we can eat. Yams, cranberries, freshly made bread and mashed potatoes. That's right, Grandma. Now who's up for some pork chops? I gotta get out of here. And this family had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and they lived happily ever after. The end.